There's a reason that Nikki and I uh, haven't breathed for a while because mm -hmm. we we're sucking in our stomachs right now because Larry just Dennis is with us and we're terrified of the latest <laughs> thing he can do for us. He's been teaching Nikki some fantastic fitness tips. As you've noticed, I haven't been involved because right. I've been a little bit scared, but Larry's brought a special treat for me today, haven't you? Yeah, we brought the calipers. I know you wanted to get measured with body fat. Oh, no. It's so payback, uh, yeah, no. It's payback, yeah, yeah, it is. <laughs> what we'll do for the next two weeks, we'll, mm. we'll, you know, we'll take your body fat off air, yours as well, Nikki, and then we'll track it for the next month or so okay. and see who can... Uh, Lose the most body fat, how's that? So it's a and competition you, now. And wow. you should lead because you have more testosterone. Men should easily win this. So Nikki's at a disadvantage, actually. My hands are sweating, okay. You know? that's, that's, that's terrific. The, the key I want to talk about, because I've been <laughs> yeah, watching yeah. your segments, and I've been enjoying the stuff that you and Nick have been doing together, is uh, the mother load, or is that, was that the expression? The mother load is the tricep score. We talked about that. Right. On the first episode, we talked about right. it's, it dictates your sex drive, your testosterone. Right. So with all scores that you need to take right, <laughs> that's the one, okay? It has nothing to do with that, but go <laughs> Where's your tricep at, man? Get your tricep yeah, I just want to take the jacket tricep, off now. Like, come on, Larry. No but yeah. going back to the calipers, we were yes. talking about off air. A funny story with it is, unfortunately, people are getting, the, the obesity rates are higher and higher, especially in kids now, too. Mm -hmm. And a pair of calipers we had two years ago only went up to a score of, of 60. Mm -hmm. And now these ones go up to 100. Oh. Wow. And the one time I told you I had a lady <laughs> where it went over, the dial went so around I just guessed it it was like an 80 but it actually got stuck and oh, I had to no. tell her it was broken <laughs> so, so you just guessed the actual so I had to guess her number oh. really well she so, sat around the house she sat well, around no, the house she worked you know, she worked and they just they're predisposed it just depends on your ancestry too you're predisposed right. to some type of things and sometimes the western diet isn't perfect for them mm -hmm. well and one so, thing that people think Larry about weight and they think oh it's getting on the pounds and you're yeah. religious to the scale and that is incorrect as you're pointing out body fat is a better measure of your yeah, weight yeah correct fitness. you know we always talk about lean body mass and body fat we always try to get more lean body mass so every pound of muscle you gain we'll burn an extra 50 calories a day so it's like a stock market we're putting money in right. unfortunately it's not like the stock market now but if you know what I mean <laughs> yeah. you, put a, you get a pound of muscle you're burning 50 more calories a day so if you gain 10 pounds of muscle, that's 500 calories, 3,500 a week. That's a drop of a pound of fat a week, not doing anything. Right. Yeah. So that's why it's so important to increase your lean body mass too. But what about like all those, those charts and scales saying, you know, you have, you're hyped and you should be Yeah, it, it, it's very difficult to judge because BMI, you know, you get an athlete who's very lean but weighs a lot. Mm -hmm. They'll be off the score in the BMI index and say they're not healthy, but they're probably more healthier than the average person, right? Right. So are you using body fat calipers? Because... The only thing about calipers is someone's asked me off air, one of your security guys, is how, you know, how relative and how reliable are they? They're reliable in the fact that if I continue to do your scores, it's all relative. Mm -hmm. And I've done about five to 6,000 people, so yeah. you become very good at it. Right. And, you just be, and it's a reliability of the relative factor between us. Well, let's talk a little bit of geography. As far as body fat is concerned, sure. what are the areas that you would target? Okay, we have, 12, we have 12 sites we usually take, right? Mm -hmm. If we talk about the board, the first one is the chin and the cheek. Okay. With the chin and the cheek, they don't really dictate any hormones, but they show when a person stores body fat first or loses weight first. Okay. Okay. And then we go to the pec, mm. or the, and that's the androgen. So someone's on steroids, actually. Yeah. You can predict it with the body fat on that side because they gain muscles. The receptor sites for steroids and androgens are in the chest and the hmm. pectoralis. Huh. Now going back to tricep, that's the mother score we talked about. That's the tricep score, the sex drive, the testosterone. Subscap is your back fat, okay. and superiliac is your love handles. So I put those two guys together, the reason why is they're insulin. We can control as humans 100% of the time what we eat and how we control insulin. Unfortunately, 75% of the people in society can't handle mm -hmm. too high of carbs, things like uh, Rice Krispie squares and those kind of things, and donuts. We talked about donuts yeah. off air, right? All the good stuff, right. And think about subscap too, if it's high, the, high, the fat closer to your heart, you have more risk of heart disease. So it's a predictor, wow. subscap is a, is a predictor of heart disease. Mid-ax would be thyroid. Umbilicus is actually cortisol and stress. Okay, and I'm not talking about the stress of you two hating each other, any of that. <laughs> <laughs> just kidding. Larry's dropping all the oh, no. secrets of the show. Starting the stress, the stress of uh, the food that you place in your body, mm -hmm. the stress of, um, Testosterone being robbed and making cortisol because you're fatigued, mm -hmm. you're not sleeping well enough, and things like that. Right. So that's overstress. Then we get knee and calf, and that's the predictor of sleep. Okay, and I was telling you about a lady who actually worked night shifts. We took her body fat, uh, her calf score went up 100%. Well, you know, on night shift. So this is what we're talking about off air with you guys yeah. for, exactly. you know, the early morning show at 3 a.m. and things like that, waking up. It's hard. Your calf score will probably go up. Right. Somewhat. Then quad and hamstring. I always take on women because women are usually more pear-shaped, okay. and that's an estrogen site. Mm -hmm. So if you have too much estrogen, what that leads to is cancer, and that's what we're trying to prevent too. So 
I want to ask you about the body yeah. types. You mentioned the pear shape. There's there's a few select types that most people would fall into. Yeah, I make it really easy, right? I make it the apple, which is most guys will fall into, 75% of them. Mm -hmm. The pear, which is a female where they store more body fat. And I'm not, and I'm not saying all males mm -hmm. yeah, I'm and like, females. Yeah, I'm an apple. Yeah, and you know what? <laughs> if you're a pear as a male, you're in trouble. Right. Okay, uh -oh. like you're really in trouble. Then we have the banana who has to count calories. Okay. We talk about that. Going back to the pear though, the pear is a person that stores body fat more in their legs and the worst thing to do with them is actually do rhythmical cardio. Oh really? Okay, really? because then they store more body fat in their legs. So rhythmical cardio as in like just continuous jogging or right. treadmill, treadmill, that yeah. kind of stuff. It has to be interval work. Okay, wow. and, a, and a diet more like the zone diet would work for them very well. And what, give us some stuff with the zone diet. I hear that yeah, all the time. Like what are some tips of that? The zone diet? Well, Go, hold on, let sure. me do the one other one we talked yeah. about, the SST skinny fat guy. Mm. Or yeah, fat this person. is a funny one. Yeah, because yeah, <laughs> you, you look at somebody and they look very skinny, when you think their body fat, it's very high. And the reason why is they, don't, they lack lean body mass mm -hmm. and they don't eat enough calories actually. And well, you get that in kids, they don't eat enough food or they eat junk food. Yeah. How they, unhealthy is that? Very unhealthy, right? Because yeah. you're placing too much stress in the body, you're not getting great caloric intake and you, have, you don't have any lean body mass. Yeah. Right. So that's, those are the four body types that usually people fall into. Mm -hmm. And depending on the body type, that's the kind of diet you would work with right. and things like that. But whatever we do with everybody, we start them on the 14 day plan. So that's the two things you guys would be on too. What is this plan? Okay, really yeah. simple, okay? <laughs> Rule one, eat whatever swims, runs, or flies. Okay. Okay. So, give, me, give me some options there. You, tell me. Give me some. Fish. You're a smart guy. So, so fish would be good. Very it's good. Yeah. Uh, yes. Running. We got uh, chicken. Yes. And flying. Uh, maybe. Cows don't really run though, but they walk. They but so you can have the beef. And organic <laughs> meat it actually will lean you up a lot faster. Okay. Because okay. of the steroids and the hormones in other beef and chicken and things like that. And whatever flies. So if I feel like eating some pigeon, I can go right. right. Yeah. yeah. So if you want, go nuts downtown here. So. The second one is eat as many above ground vegetables as you like. Okay. The one thing you can get the top nutritionists in the world and they'll come into this whole room and they'll discuss and argue what diet's better. Mm -hmm. The one thing they'll all agree upon is people don't eat enough vegetables. Right. right. You know, and that's the one agreement they have. Then you can eat nuts, except for peanuts, because okay. they're not a nut, they're a legume. Corn and nuts are okay? No. Oh my God. <laughs> Unsalted, and the rule for nuts is put out your palms, Every, even that. That's how many nuts you'd have in a day. That's how many nuts you'd have in a day. In a day. Yeah. And it, with, and, with, <laughs> right. yeah. and with women, I always tell them not to have it after 12 because they're too high in calories. Right. Okay. And the fourth one is dairy products. So if you really want to get lean, we cut out all dairy because most people are allergic to dairy, but we allow it if you know if you want a little bit in your coffee and things like that. Right. But no so those are the four rules. Like so, if you yeah. ask, if you call me, people call me and say, "Hey, can I have popcorn?" I'm like, "Okay." How much more easier can it be? Does it swim, Does it, run, or fly? Exactly. Yeah. Those are the, those, that's a scenario, right? And then alcohol. Is yeah, a no -go. I'm done. This we talked about so that. Yeah. Just wrap it up. Yeah, alcohol. Hey, you. you know, we talked about uh, having a drink of alcohol with decreased fat mobilization for 73% research shows for 24 hours. Right. The next thing is you have a drink of red wine or a glass of beer. Any caloric intake after your food or anything after that is stored as body fat because the energy is used from that glass of red wine or beer. Okay, and then if you get hammered, yep. sometimes. <laughs> hey, a lot, of, a lot of us right here on you. this set. Your They're testosterone just... levels drop to a five-year-old girl for the next three days. Oh, they take man. about yeah. seven days, so I don't even really know what I'm gonna go play tetherball after that. I'll get my so that's, that's what you want to avoid. And I'm not saying that, I always talk about reality and optimal for people because Optimally, we're not dealing with high-end athletes all the time that are so regimented. Mm -hmm. There's reality, life gets involved, so I always use the 80-20 rule. So after 14 days, I always put a cheat day or cheat meal in, and then you follow things for four or five days. Yeah. And then on the weekend, on a Saturday, you can go all out yeah, if that, you want. That, that pizza will never taste as good as it will after That's right. 14 days. You know days. what, what happens <laughs> at 14 days, people will have, I'll say, eat whatever you want. And on the 15th day, they eat yeah. donuts, pizza, alcohol, da da da. The next day, they'll feel like they're hungover and they understand that the food doesn't work for them. Right. And that's very important wow. to understand. Okay. That's important to understand. I'm willing to do this just, okay. uh, well, for Adnan's sake. For Adnan's yeah, sake. I'm, yeah, I'm yeah. the one really that needs to share. Looking about your yeah. health, yeah. actually. Yeah, exactly. So what, what would be the bet between the two of you? Yeah, that's a good oh, question. Bet? We'll have to think of there something. There has to be up. something because there has to be... Some motivation, exactly. exactly. Right? Otherwise, right? we'll just be lying and cheating. I think right. the... Go ahead. If okay, you have something to say. I think the winner, actually, doesn't have to wear a speedo or a bikini on air, and the loser oh, does. <laughs> Ratings at an all-time low. I come out in a speedo. We just couldn't have or that. Or if I come out in a speedo, uh, that's weird.
No. Married to status, <laughs> SST. We'll figure out an arrangement. And as always, yes. it's not where you start, it's where you finish, That's right? That's right. And I always right. talk about that, right? Like, don't relate yourself. It's all about where you start. Look at your clothes, throw out the scale, because it's, to me, the clothes are more important. Look at yourself in the mirror. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know? And if we can do it, you can do it too. Right. And Burke, you are on. We're going to do our best. <laughs> Stay right. for us. Thanks a lot for this, no We appreciate Thanks, it. Oh, okay. All right, we'll take a break and come back more score in the morning after this. Appreciate it.